young girl came up to me today and said, this must be heaven because heaven is where you spend eternity. I told her I thought she was wrong because I'd always assumed heaven would have less traffic. Sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> like all of you, I've been trying to make sense of everything that's happened since the healing. It seemed like a miracle, didn't it? We all cried and celebrated when Abby woke up that Monday morning and realized there was no more cancer for her to fight anymore. In an instant, every disease and illness in the world was gone. There are some who say that we could live forever, and that word could has me lost. What are the rules now? Before all this, it was clear. Love one another, be pure of heart, and you will be rewarded in the kingdom of heaven. But now I look at all of you and I feel sorrow. Living a good life was difficult enough before life could literally mean forever. I look out and I see Tommy Mitchell. Son, even I wasn't sure how you turned out during those high school years. But look at you now, a strong member of this community and a beautiful family. Because of you, Father. No, it wasn't just me. It was your patient and loving parents who never gave up on you. It was, it was Coach Bay who pushed you because he believed in you. It was the people of this church who rallied around you because they loved you, like they have so many others over the years. I look at you and I am filled with love for your journeys, for your faith, even your faults. You have all earned your entrance into the kingdom, but what's the new price you'll have to pay? because there is no peaceful end now. It will be violent. To take your own life is a mortal sin, to put yourself in a reckless situation and he will see into your heart and he will know. So that's it. We try to live righteously while waiting for a brutal end. That can't be his plan. It just, it just can't. What would Jesus do? Before it became a marketing tagline, it was a very real and important question. It helped guide us when we felt lost or conflicted. It's a question, prayer, that I've reflected on for the past several days, and it's led me to this. I will deliver you to the kingdom of heaven. How I dreamed of walking through its gates. No, Father, you don't have to do that. 